This is not your father's blimp. It's not a blimp at all. This is an NT-series semi-rigid airship designed by Zeppelin in Germany. So the Goodyear blimp is now, well, technically not a blimp, but everybody's still going to call it that. But you could call it something else. But I like to think of it as kind of the most uh, impressive home built there is. It takes nine guys about nine months to a year to put one of these things together. Uh, and because of that, it, it literally is a custom build. Custom built in Goodyear's century-old blimp hangar near Akron, Ohio. This is home for Wingfoot 3. The other airships are based in Pompano Beach, Florida and Carson, California. But it just so happened that when we were there, all three airships were there too. Wingfoot 2 undergoing annual inspection, Wingfoot 1 dropping in for some light maintenance and crew training, and Wingfoot 3 finishing certification flights. It's hard to imagine the size of these things. The NT airship is nearly as long as a football field and it weighs more than 19,000 pounds and that's before the helium is added, of course. Three Lycomings drive four props. There are two props for the engine and the tail. And they all swivel, making the NT airship highly maneuverable, at least compared to the old blimps. So even though this one is 55 feet longer than the old ones, uh, the old ones were just rudders in the back. So we had elevators and rudders for up and down and left and right control. And when we got close to the ground, if you didn't have enough airflow, you really relied on your crew to help you keep in the right spot, keep yourself lined up right on winds. We can't correct for a crosswind like an airplane because we don't have wings. This one here is much more maneuverable. There's an aft engine uh, that gives you two propellers that help you with, with uh, pitch and yaw, even when you're sitting in no wind configuration. So the fins are still working, but the thrust vectoring is really doing the, the bulk of the work. And this nimble new airship can operate with a smaller crew. We don't need 15 guys to go out and catch us anymore. Uh, but you also don't have that help of that team out there. And the feel is a little bit different of it, and then just the the uh, the challenge of keeping it in the right spot and, and right where you want it all the time uh, is it's significantly different than the old ones. The old blimps required a lot of physical effort to fly. The NTs are fly-by-wire, side stick, no rudder pedals, and the cockpit looks like something out of a business jet. But you don't learn this aircraft like a jet. We do it all in the aircraft since there aren't simulators for blimps. And to state the obvious, this doesn't fly like an airplane. Uh, but really, flying the airship in general is like flying a boat. And so if you can imagine flying a boat with the tendencies of that up and down and wandering around. For takeoffs, we'll the forward propellers up, the back propeller down, and back away from the mast. Change the vector and climb out like a helicopter. Change the vector to cruise, and you're an airplane with the joystick as the primary control. It's really easy to over-control. Let's just say the response to control inputs is not sprightly. Vectored thrust means the NT airships can hover in place, something the old ships couldn't do. It's a flying experience like no other. And if you'd like to get a job flying the Goodyear airship, we don't usually find people that can fly the blimp right off the street, so uh, what we're looking for is a commercial pilot, typically with a, an instrument rating, uh, usually a multi-engine rating as well, and about 1,200 hours, 1,250, something like that, and then uh, we bring them in and we'll train you on the airship from there. Uh, so if, if there's interest in, uh, in being an airship pilot, it's, um, it's a lot more the, the PR and management side. It's, it's a lot of things that you typically don't get pilots doing, especially today's career track pilot. Um, building those people skills, um, having that, that want and, and enjoy being out in the public eye and, and interacting with the people really is a, is a big need. And Mike Dougherty will be your examiner. He's the only DE in the country. And there's one guy in the FAA that does what I do, and uh, we gave him his airship rating last year, and I did this check ride for him. So 